Okay, let's take a look at what themes are. Themes are a way to customize the look and feel of your installer to create a different type of user experience. For example, you could brand your installers or you can add art to your installers or so on and so forth. So you're not getting the default installer graphic that's provided just by the manufacturer. So let's take a look at the screens area here, project theme. So we'll click on that and we'll take a look at the themes that are available in Setup Factory. Now these are the default themes and as you'll learn later on there's other ways to get more themes but for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just take a look at these default ones. For example if we click on CD-ROM and then let go you can see that the theme in the preview window here has changed. If I go to the side view it's a lot more obvious. For example here would be the at work theme, here would be the computer theme, and so forth. As you can see there's a wide variety of professional themes included that you can just go ahead and dial up and, and use in your installers and as you can see they all come with a top image, a side image and optionally um, some of them come with background images that you can use um, inside the themes folder. So let's take a look at that now. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this screen and just minimize Setup Factory and we're going to go ahead into the Programs folder. We'll go into our Setup Factory 7.0 folder and we'll take a look at the Themes folder. As you can see here, there's a variety of themes installed by default. Let's take a look at the CD-ROM theme. You can see here that the theme is comprised of these four images and an XML file. Now in this particular case, as I mentioned, the background images are optional. I'll go ahead and open them up here in my image viewer. You can see that these come with the CD-ROM theme and they sort of round that theme out. You didn't see these in the default theme that was in Setup Factory because actually um, these background images are optional. The two that you saw in Setup Factory were the top image, that's this 111 by 63 image, and the side image, that's this 166 by 312 image. So strictly speaking, those are the only two images you need in order to create a theme. The XML file simply describes your font preferences and your images, etc. So for example, inside this XML file you will find um, a reference to this image and to this image and so forth. We'll take a look at that of course in the building themes uh, lesson. So s suffice to say for now that this is what a theme is comprised of. And they sit in this themes folder and when Setup Factory loads it knows which themes are in here and it goes ahead and it loads them into your themes menu and we'll just take another quick look. That's this menu right here. So you can go ahead and choose between all these different themes. So for example you might use this science fiction installer um, for doing a, a game, a video game installer, whereas you might be more prone to use, uh, for example, the computer theme for an office software installer and so forth. So the big thing about Setup Factory, of course, is that it's the only professional install maker on the market that allows you to really customize your installers to this extent. In the style editor, which is found by clicking on this edit button here in the themes panel, in the theme panel rather, um, you'll see here that there's complete control over all the different aspects of your theme. You can, um, you know, completely customize your fonts, your margins, uh, where things are located, so on and so forth, the entire layout. So that's really amazing when you're trying to brand an installer, for example, or create a really unique customer experience. So that's themes. That's basically what they are. They're different visual um, image sets that you can apply to your installers quite easily here in Setup Factory. And as you can see it only takes really one second to apply a theme to your installer and it's really worthwhile. It's really going to make you stand out from the pack and, and your customers are going to remember that sort of thing. So that's the anatomy of a theme and now let's go on to the next video lesson where we'll take a look at how we can quickly build our own custom themes.